guys, you know how much I love to see this. Russell Westbrook, one of the best success stories when it comes to converting a scoring guard to playing the point. It, but it's his overall talent that's made him successful. His will, his competitiveness, and his incredible athleticism. LeBron is the three with Thompson at the four. Smith is out there with Kyrie Irving. And it's Mozgov and it's the five. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Risky shot there. Size-wise, I mean, he easily comes out on the short end of the stick, so to speak. With the nice high release, he had no problem getting it off and knocking it down. And Westbrook is a phenomenal rebounder and scorer at the point guard position. He gets steals. He really is one of the stat sheet stuffer supreme guys in the league. A different look now for Cleveland. Kendrick Perkins, he's checked in for Mozgov. And Shumpert in there for J.R. Smith. And then for Oklahoma City, Cantor, he checked in for Adams. And it's Andre Robertson in for Waiters. Back to Irving. And Westbrook, every season among the league leader, Steve, in assists, but, but also, unfortunately, in turnovers. Well, with his scoring burden, you know, that's to be expected, but... It's definitely an area he can continue to improve. The three is good, and he got fouled in the act of shooting. This could turn into a four-point play. A chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Well, guys, the Cavs' David Blatt, the first-ever NBA head coach directly hired from the international ranks. Though we grew up near Boston, a die-hard Celtics fan, he represents all the inspiring NBA coaches from abroad, saying, quote, I feel a great sense of responsibility. I feel like I've got to do a good job. Kevin, he's certainly got the personnel to do it. A roster loaded with talent, Doris. Indeed. Thank you. Releases. Shot is good in the Cavaliers' lead. Cut down now to just five on the bucket from Durant. Nobody near Irving. Nailed from three-point land. Irving's got ten points now just in this quarter. Four three, Westbrook. Cavaliers with the rebound. They've held a 12-point lead early. It was a victory here for the home team last time these guys met. And in winning that last game, guys, they drove the lane and attacked the basket very aggressively. It led to them drawing a lot of contact inside and causing some foul trouble for their opponent. For three, Durant. The Cavaliers pull it in. Thompson's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Mozgov, he's checked in for Cleveland. Smith comes in for Shumpert. Lamb, he's checked in for the Thunder. Dion Waiters comes in for Russell Westbrook. Well, with the way that Kevin Durant has improved over the last few seasons, you have to wonder if he has even yet peaked as a player. Scary to think, but there's still some room for growth. I think he can get stronger and develop a better low post game. In transition, here come the Cavaliers. LeBron leading the charge. Now he's playing with an edge here, playing extremely well offensively here in the second half. Now here's Durant. 21 points in the game. Knocks down the step back, Jay. Durant has got 10 points in the quarter. And with Durant, you really forget how young he is. He came into the league at such a young age. Clark and was a star so quickly. It Seems like he's the old vet, but he might be a year or two away from his prime. Yeah, I think he's still a couple of years away from his prime when all of the physical, emotional, and mental come together at that peak point of performance. Um, his best seasons are still in front of him, and he's had some pretty good ones behind him to this point. The shot's good from Irving. Boy, what a nice third quarter surge they've got going on right now. You know, Steve, never a better time than the third quarter, in my mind, to get the momentum going your way. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. That plus-10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. 
Yeah, not to mention what it says on the scoreboard. I mean, they're really pushing them around physically at this point. Pulls up on the wing. Now, he's their top rebounder. He's doing an excellent job on the glass today. Well, I tell you what, I love the effort he's shown on the boards today, Steve. It's been fantastic. Let's the three fly. And the shot is good. Irving's got 57 points. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. Yeah, they're making the right play. They're working together, and they're just looking for the best shot they can every possession. And another three for Cleveland. You got to make a defensive adjustment here because he's just just. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. So for Oklahoma City right now, they've got Steven Adams, Anthony Morrow out there with Nick Collison. Then there's DJ Augustine, and it's Roberson, and it's the shooting guard. You know, as soon as that steal was made, it was over. That was going to be a bucket the whole way. That's exactly how a turnover cost you. It's deflected. It's stolen by Smith. And on the way from Irving for three. Cannot hit. Now Oklahoma City takes it the other way. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. Boy, that pass was in the air a long time. Long enough for him to get a finger on it anyway and send it out of bounds. Catching up on the changes for Cleveland. Perkins comes in for Moskov. And it's like that. Oh, oh, what a throw yeah. down there. Oh. Man. Reverse that one. <laughs> oh, now that was nice. Real nice. The agility on this play. Yeah, you love that. Body control. Oof. Oh, that one had it all, guys. Power and grace. Just beautiful. Well, in the first half, he was flawless when it came to handling the ball, but that has not been the case here since halftime. Here's Waiters. And it's off target. Not sure why he took that one. Very poor shot selection there, guys. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Cavaliers will retain possession. Irving again. It's Westbrook. From deep three-point range. And they will call over the back on the play. We talk so much about how valuable expiring contracts and draft picks are in terms of building a team. But one thing that gets overlooked is just how important having a player on a good contract can be. Oh, oh, look out, man! The rim oh. is shaking. Just floating to the rim on that slam. Boy, when he gets up, he gets up oh. and stays up. Boy, <laughs> smooth and graceful. How about the hang time? That's impressive. Irving, good. His work at the offensive end has been phenomenal. Maybe reason number one, they're ahead. The pass to Durant. Good. Nice assist from Westbrook. And that's now 30 points for Kevin Durant. I'll tell you what, he's had an excellent game, and they're going to have to continue to rely on him if they're going to come back. They've gotten a bunch of good looks, and it's been absolutely lethal from behind the three-point line. Yeah, you got to get some bodies out there defensively, though. I mean, if things are way too easy out beyond the uh, three-point arc. On its way from Irving for two. And the Cavaliers getting another bucket right there. He's finding all kinds of ways to get it done. What a quarter he's had. Oklahoma City moving it around. 
Durant for three. The offensive rebound. Waiters gets a wide open look. Buries the long range jumper. Yeah, and that's his first three of the half. There may be more in store. Irving with the ball. Guarded now by Durant. Thunder trailing by 21. For the three. Rebounded by Marion. 152 left in the fourth quarter. Irving double team. LeBron passes to Irving. Shot from the top of the key. And again, it's Cleveland. Time to turn out the lights on this game. I think they deserve a ton of credit for the way they played here today. Truly a professional display. That's far too good a look to give them from behind the arc. Well, that's three of the last five makes uh, having been behind the three-point line. So, got to make some adjustments defensively. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Cavaliers. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, Clark, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching any lucky breaks themselves. Well, it's more than luck, Kevin. I think the shot selection was good, too. And in the win-loss column, tonight's game will push their record up to 54 wins on the year. Bragging rights between these two teams were on the line today, and I'll tell you what, they put in a lot of good work to, to earn those bragging rights. Yep, this means they'll come out on top in the season series, two games to one. And what a huge standout performance it was for Kyrie Irving. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do anything, really, but to stop him. It's tipped. Here's Smith. The prayer from beyond half court is off the mark. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. And that's a shot you can't pass up. He should knock that down. Irving with a clean look. Drains the 19-footer. They certainly haven't let these fans down tonight. It's been a fun night to be in the building. It has been. I mean, the atmosphere has been great, and no doubt that helped with the winning effort. Shot denied. Well, it looks like their comeback hopes are out the window. I, I think this lead is safe now. Yep, this one's a done deal. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And Cleveland can just let the clock run down here. Count the bucket. This is great. Three-pointers going down quickly at both ends. Yeah, it took them no time to answer back on that possession. Robertson can't hit. And, you know, the rebounding edge here has been key because they're getting a lot of extra possessions offensively as a result. Guys, you're absolutely right. It's made all the difference. Timeout call the Cavaliers. They're leading by 24. Just two seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? It's almost like they're rubbing it in a little bit with this timeout, guys. Yeah, not really much to talk about. Let's get the game over and move on. So we see the Cavaliers. 